morning guys day number four eagle lake we got a little uh a little bit of a wind this morning we're gonna come around the corner here she's gonna get nasty we got some rain today we got some clouds as you guys can see but the fish have been biting good when it's been cloudy so we'll see how today goes it's gonna be windy it's gonna be rough probably gonna have some bad wind but we're gonna catch a few muskies Yeah, she needed that sucker. Nice job. Yeah. This is where This is where we had those follows last night. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Yep, that's a fish cup. Wait there. Okay, we're on the other side of them. We should be able to hit them. Reel down as hard as you can. Reel down. That? Yep, 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 yep. Kevin's wrong handed too. Oh, that's a good one. It's all wrapped up. It's all wrapped up. Got her. That's a good one. Yeah, buddy. First sucker fish for Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes just taking a break pays off. Good little. Yeah. Getting the juice back. Wrists don't feel so bad anymore. I'm not even gonna cast anymore. All right, I'll show you guys the rig real quick. Just got a one ounce weight here on the top. 130 pound fluorocarbon. We got a nose clip, and then we got two leads of I think this is 90 strand, seven strand wire. Just the hook straightened out. I'll show you guys how to rig these in a second. I'm new to sucker fishing. I just got rundown right before I came up here um, between Herbie and a friend of mine Jeff they they gave me the rundown if anyone knows anything about Herbie he's probably the best live bait fisherman in the world so I learned from the best we're running it and uh, yeah we've been seeing a bunch of fish in this spot the last three days and we're like all right let's just somebody take a break let's just run through here with suckers and we've got two fish on this spot both on suckers um, that aren't coming in on the baits so sometimes they want the meat we're still throwing baits but suckers are producing this morning Six and quarter. Six and quarter. Great. Nice. Up a little higher with the fish. Awesome. All right. So we got our suckers in here. As far as rod, it's really important to run a fiberglass rod. This is just one of my thorn trolling rods. It's an 8.4, I think it's a minus 8. It's the same rods I use for trolling on Green Bay. Uh, Daiwa Saltist, 36.1 to 1. I'm no expert at this one. So you can use rubber bands or you can use a nose clip. This part of the lake, the water's pretty dirty, so you can get away with a nose clip. Herbie made me some rigs, but if anybody knows Herbie, I didn't get out enough time. But it's okay, Herb. I appreciate the effort. I'll get them when I get home. These guys, they're not huge. They're like 14 inches, I'd say. 12 to 14. There it is. You got to find the sweet spot. There's a point where you can, it's natural for it to go through. You don't want to force it. Okay, now you can see one of these rigs is lined up through that eye, and this one's a little shorter. And you want to stagger your hooks. So this one we're going to put kind of towards the front. Feel away some scales. Is that just so you can get into the meat? Yep, that's just so you can kind of, you just want this hook, the straightened out one, to go just barely into the skin. 
alongside and then back out just like that. And you can kind of see the placement. I'm kind of hiding that hook right above this fin. Okay, so the fish is looking up from the bottom. You'll be able to see that hook is easy. Now on the other side, this is our longer lead. Run this one back. And now you want to hide this one kind of behind this back fin. Back out just like that. Now this fin's kind of hiding that one as well if you're looking at this sucker from below. The rig. Gotta get a name for this one. Jesse's up on the sucker. You know what name it, Jess? Bertrus. Bertrus? Yeah. Birdie. Sounds like a fat one. Click around. Run this out about 30 feet. We're fishing about 15 feet of water. And you want your line at about a 45 degree angle. So generally 15 feet of water, 30 feet back, you're pretty close to the bottom. These to be pretty close to the bottom. If you have a follow, you can bring your bait up. So you got if you got a fish going around next to the boat, they can see that bait because you can only see above them, obviously. So run this back. And me and Kevin are gonna cast just to sit there. Okay. That's a fish. You got one, Kev? Okay. Oh got him. Okay, we got one. Jess, hit that, hit that fish. Cap, grab my rod. Got him. No. 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 Did we have one going there? I don't know. Are any teeth marks in it? Doesn't look like it. No. Okay, ah! put it. Down. Kevin just caught his sucker fish five minutes ago, and then we had what we thought was a fish in the sucker. Kevin whacked one in the front of the boat, almost had a double. Beauty. Nice fat one. Third fish of the morning. Nice job, buddy. Spot's loaded. go to the front of the boat and it'll pass the fish okay. and then once we get on the other side of it you can pull back this way oh yeah yep okay swim away from you yeah. okay drop pull some line out drop it and hit them drag tight yeah add a girl oh, yeah. add a girl add a girl She's trying to go into the boat. Okay, I'm going to gain on her. Yep. Yep, she's coming. Yep. Hold. Lift her, lift, yep. lift, lift. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> white whale. There's a white one. <laughs> Jesse's a, Jesse's a lefty, and I don't have any left-handed click here, so she gets to fight him uh, with the wrong hand. That thing was heavy as soon as I set the hook. That's close. That's like 49. <laughs> you see me just bend into this window? <laughs> Look how white that thing is. <sighs> Yep. 
Stressful for me as it is for you. Real! Real with the right hand! And a trolling reel from Thorn, but like, you think it's, like ASAP. Like, no, I oh, get it. It's done. hard, but it's oh, just it's it? stressful to watch. Well, being the person doing the work. Wow, what a fish! All right, Shit. nice job. How much do we want to bet this one's gonna flop on me? There it is. <laughs> Oh, she ain't gonna take 
Daddy. I think that one might honestly have been heavier. When you, you throw whatever you want to throw. section of the lake it's better to pull the sucker up and then just run and gun kind of move faster on your spots and see what we can learn but Kev smoked one boat side or she smoked you I should smoke me <laughs> Did you out of nowhere <laughs> grab it nice. nice work boss man yeah, yeah. Not, not a bad one got a little bit of rain coming in it's probably what's got these fish fired up tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day long um, this rain's just starting to sprinkle right now it's about four o'clock and fish number six. Nice job, buddy. Oh, there she goes. No, look at Bun. Look at him. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> All right, guys, that is a wrap on day number four. We're back in the cabin. What a day it was. Uh, six fish in the boat, lost one. Great day. We'll see what tomorrow brings. I know we got rain all day tomorrow, not as much wind. So we should be able to fish some new spots some, or some spots we haven't been able to fish in the last few days due to wind. So we should be. I'm getting suckers. Yeah, Jess is actually going to run to town to get some more suckers. So me and Kev are going to be out by ourselves more. We might do some trolling. We haven't trolled yet this trip. I do want to do a little bit of trolling. It's a great way to break down the lake. I've got a lot to learn out here yet. So I want to figure something out. So maybe we'll put some rods in for a while if it's raining and being nasty. But hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. See you there.